Good morning, everybody. I just wanted to tell you what I'm working on today. And um, it's pretty easy. And the majority of it I got from the dollar store. For my psycho toy store. I need stanchions, so I went to the dollar store. Then I got the caution tape that we're gonna use later on. And I got a broomstick. An orange and cone. Hopefully you can imagine what I'm gonna do with that. And when it's all done, I'm going to spray paint it with black. Also got it, uh, the spray paint at Walmart for like $3.97, super cheap. For a snug fit, glue a styrofoam piece underneath the orange cone. Okay, now, so I'm just gonna show you a little bit of the process of the gluing. And it's pretty simple, but you just, I have a bunch of rocks. I'll show you, that I got from Dollar Store. Just a little river rocks. And I'm just going to grab a collection of them, put them down here, and then try and kind of get some of the flat ones. And I'm going to glue it and just place it down, okay? And what you can also do, I started doing this with the other one, was actually, let me see, I'm going to get a good one. This is, ooh, there's a big one right here, that's a good one. So I'm going to do a little E6000 on there, and then I'm also going to do just some, some glue around that so it will adhere right away. As it dries, but the E6000 glue takes a little while longer to dry. And so if you basically just do this all the way around, a little glue here, a little E6000, a little hot glue, and you just kind of put it down. And you just go all the way around and you're just gonna keep doing that all the way around the center. And then you're gonna fill in all the spots and just kind of do whatever it is that you wanna do with it. And then, I recommend putting it outside and let it dry outside. E6000 glue is very stinky and um, you don't want to be breathing in all of those fumes. Also, the E6000 glue just keeps on bubbling up no matter what, so it's like you got to put your lid on it right away if you're not going to use it. I debated whether to just go back through it after I was done hot gluing and kind of filling in the gaps, which you can do that too, um, just so that you don't have all this hot glue and you have to kind of do your timing just right and E6000 glue doesn't wait for anybody. So anyway, that's the process. I'm going to keep going here and then... I'm going to show you the end result when we're all done, okay? Now we'll let the E6000 glue dry completely before we give it its coat of paint. The stones add weight and a nice textural design. Now it's time to decorate the stanchions and they are ready to guide people in the direction you want them to go. Add lights as rope for your stanchions for a fun and dramatic effect and you're done.